In Creole Parametric, you can make a Z radius dimension in a drawing. Here I have a part model. The top surface is an extruded arc, and the arc has a really big radius and diameter. Like I mentioned, you can only create the Z radius dimension in a drawing. Let me hop over to the other window with the drawing. Let me zoom in on a view where I want to have that dimension. So first off, let's say I go to the Annotate tab, and I go to the Show Model Annotations command, and I will try to show the dimensions for the main extrude. And here I get a diameter dimension. You can see, oh wow, the diameter dimension goes to a center point way off the sheet. And I could choose to show this particular dimension. Let me click the OK button. And you can always right mouse click and go to your flip arrows button if you want the dimension not to show going all the way off the sheet. But let's say I want the radius dimension instead. So I can select the dimension here and choose that I want to erase it. I don't want to use that particular one. And I can manually create a radius dimension. So I will go to the dimension command. Then I will pick this particular edge. And here you can see that I am getting the radius dimension and the radius is showing to the outside. Let me deselect everything. Then I decide that, no, I want the radius dimension showing to the inside. If I grab it and drag it over here, this isn't exactly what I want. So I decide that I am going to delete this dimension. I will click on it with the left mouse button. And then from the mini toolbar, I can choose the delete command. An alternative way of showing that dimension is with what's called a Z radius dimension. And you get to that from the annotations overflow menu. Here we have Z radius dimension. And then we will pick the entity that we want to dimension. And then as I move my mouse over here, you can see that we are getting this Z shape. We're being prompted to select a point on the drawing object. You can actually select an existing point or a free point. So I will click on it. Let me click about here and then middle mouse button in order to finish it. And let me move everything up a little bit. With the dimension still selected, you can actually move your mouse over the different points if you want to manipulate it. And you see that when I'm manipulating it, it's only moving in a straight line. Same with this one down at the bottom. And I can grab the bottom point and I can move it side to side. When I am happy, I will click on the background of the computer screen. And there I have that Z radius dimension. That's how you can use it if you so desire.